Hello and welcome to the Mac Designer YouTube channel. In version 17 we have developed the ability to model mechanisms dynamically so now you can analyze the effect of vibrations on your design. We're motivated to do this because vibrations can very seriously affect machine performance if they become too dominant. The mechanism's movement will lose precision and the internal forces and stresses will lead to premature failure. So if we can somehow predict vibrations and get a heads up at the design stage, then we have the opportunity to modify the design and avert future problems. First though, let's review the different types of analysis available in Mech Designer. There are now three types, three different types of analysis. First, Mech Designer calculates the positions, velocities and accelerations of all links in a mechanism when driven by a linear or nonlinear motion. This is typically referred to as kinematic analysis. There is no reference to forces or the physical properties of the links and there are no degrees of freedom. The analysis is purely geometric. Next, a static analysis includes inertial and external forces acting on the links such as gravity, springs, etc. As the accelerations are known from the first analysis, the inertial forces acting on each link can be calculated. This is referred to as a kinetostatic analysis. This apparently contradictory label describes an analysis that calculates forces in a moving mechanism by including inertial forces and assuming that instantaneously the system is in static equilibrium, just like the analysis used in a static structure. Mech Designer has used this approach for many years to estimate joint forces and drive torques. In release 17, we have included dynamic analysis. Now we have the option to include potential as well as kinetic energy to calculate more realistic forces and positions. As the links in a mechanism have compliance, they have the ability to store potential energy and so can be given degrees of freedom to move elastically. However, it would unnecessarily complicate the analysis to include all the vibration modes of all links in a mechanism. As designers, our primary concern is the effect of the fundamental modes of vibration have on performance. Typically, these will be the principal contributors to errors in position and lead to higher stresses. Some references suggest that the fundamental alone is probably sufficient for most CAM mechanisms. So, to simplify the dynamic analysis and retain reasonable utility, we need only concern ourselves with fundamental frequencies. These can be approximately modelled by combining all the mass in a kinematic chain into one coordinate and then connect that mass to a driving coordinate with a spring of equivalent stiffness. The goal is to obtain a model that reflects the fundamental frequency of the real system as closely, closely as possible. In Mac Designer, we associate each kinematic chain with a degree of vibrational freedom. So with a simple CAM, we can reduce the system to two degrees of vibrational freedom. The first represents the camshaft and CAM, and the second the follower system. Each of these freedoms can be represented by an ordinary second order differential equation. We derive these using Lagrange's equations, which makes the coordinate transformation simpler. These are implemented in Mech Designer using spring and inertia function blocks. The form of the equation requires some feedback between the spring and inertia function blocks. Each of the terms in the two ordinary differential equation represents a generalized force. There is an approximate mapping between these terms and the function blocks and the data wires that connect them. The wires transmit either generalized torques or coordinates depending on whether the function block is a spring or inertia respectively. We know that a body will accelerate in accordance with Newton's second law when the mass or inertia is constant. However, if the coordinate Q defines the configuration of an assembly of links or a mechanism, then it is more complicated. Using Lagrange's equations, again, we can show that the generalized force required to drive any kinematic chain with a single motion dimension can be reduced to this equation. Here Q is the input coordinate usually defined by a motion dimension in Mech Designer. Mech Designer can calculate the coefficients V, I and G for all mechanism configurations. This is very useful for dynamic modeling. 
we now get a consistent estimate of the Lambert force a kinematic chain will generate for any input velocity and acceleration. So by substituting equation 4 into 1 and 2, we get the equivalent stiffness is a bit more difficult for the user and requires a bit of work. In this release, we have not yet implemented code to estimate the equivalent stiffness. We will provide guidance on how this can be done using finite elements analysis and or beam theory in a separate video. In this video, I have tried to explain the modeling techniques used in MechDesigner and talked about how we model dynamically in release 17. I hope this video is of use to those wishing to understand more about analysis techniques used in MechDesigner. The next video will take a detailed look at the steps required to dynamically model CAM mechanisms. Thanks for watching and let me know if you need further explanations in the comments below.